Get in, nerds. We are playing Victoria 3. So, first things first, we're going to figure out what we want to research. And I think I've actually already decided. Um, over here in production, so in military, our next advance in infantry technology is going to be gated by, uh, or over here in defense in depth, but siege artillery costs radios. So we're going to be gated by our production tech. So I think the next place we're going to go is we're going to do rotary valve engine through to electrical generation. And then I think after that, we'll, if we haven't gotten vulcanization yet, we'll finish out vulcanization. And that'll be good for now. So the next thing we need to do is we need to upgrade our infantry because we got a whole lot of skirmish infantry that need to become uh, trench infantry. Is there an upgrade all... Doesn't look like it. But that's okay. We can just get started with this right like this. I don't know why I have one battalion of conscripts. I should probably get rid of that for this army. should be good to go. Now, we are still tumbling in prestige a little bit, uh, and I definitely need to work on that. So that's something we'll get into as the episode goes on. For now, though, I just want to take a look at... Okay, so our finances are rock solid at this point, point. Um, and I think the best way to exploit that Insufficient construction for investment pool. All right, so what that means is that our investment pool is growing very, very fast, and we're not using all that. So I think we need to build up our construction industry. So, can-do attitude. Soldiers are complaining they have no way to open their canned food. Sure, the food's a bit better, but what's the point if we can't get at it, eh? Some lands use rocks, others knives. The only reliable thing is how bloody annoying it is to eat. Um, I could spend some money, or I can go, they'll figure it out. How are the armed forces feeling about me right now? Armed forces are very happy. They'll figure it out. The Fickle Crowd. The populist base of the trade unions has turned against supporting foreign entanglements. Pressure from within has led the group to distance themselves from the Anti-Ottoman Association. Russian needs first. The people say no to foreign entanglements and no to foreign treaties. Prosperity at home or chaos abroad. No foreign power could successfully attack a fortified Russia. It was a mistake to rely on them. This caused them to leave the Anti-Ottoman Association. Or they must steer clear of these populist tides. This makes them weaker. I'm going to go with the second one. Because I want to use being anti-Ottoman to keep the trade unions happy. I don't know what else to tell you. That just seems necessary. Oh, right. The, or the Orthodox Church flip-flopped on uh, women's rights once again. So let's see. If we go ahead and do this, that's going to make the intelligentsia real salty. But it is what it is. There's not that many of them. So we'll get started with that. And then... Yeah. We can take on some of the debts of our uh, our vassals here. Uh, diplomatic actions. Okay. Shansi doesn't want us to take on their debt. What about Heavenly Kingdom? No. Wasn't there someone over here who had a debt they needed gotten rid of? Yes, it was Shandong. 2.87 million, that's completely reasonable. Uh, we'll be able to deal with that in a matter of weeks. Um, does, uh, does Gili already owe us? Oh, they're, they're, you know, that feels like a Japan problem. Um, what about Da Cheng? And Hunan is still... Hunan is still independent, so we'll take on their debt later. Alright, so they're going to say yes. That's going to put us in a credit situation, but again, something we'll deal with pretty shortly. Oil's been discovered in Kazan. Wonderful. Alright, let's go ahead and get some more construction sectors built. 
Uh, I think we can afford... Let me see, we're using about half the investment pool. So if we build another, say, 20 construction sectors, that should be completely reasonable. All right, where do we want to build these up? Um, let's do six levels in Tula. We'll do six levels in Yaroslavl, two in Moscow, two in St. Petersburg, two in Ryazan. It's going to be 18. We need two more. Let's put them in Tombov. All right, and that'll be good to go. But first, I need to put them all the way at the top. Because we need to get these built fast. So that they make the rest of our construction go faster. We'll make the construction sector drink gasoline. and That'll make it go faster. This is something going on in Hamburg. I don't think I need to concern myself over much with that. Konstantin Romanov has died. I don't even know who that guy was. Oh, interesting. The industrialists and the armed forces are jockeying for the for position here. That's okay. All right, Austria, keep keep improving relations here. See, uh, we'll see how that goes for you. So, what are our ambitions? I think another expansion. In China. Wow, we have we have finally fully uh, gotten to the end of our bureaucratic capacity, which is exciting and interesting. Uh, Shandong requests that we dispatch an embassy to them. Uh, that'll improve relations, absolutely. Shandong, they are our vassal, right? Our protectorate? Yes. They're still unrecognized. So that progresses their mission to get recognized. Um, and I think it's just fine if our vassals become recognized. I'm completely... Uh, completely alright with that. So let's see. Scandinavia still has a truce with us for another 17 months. We're in consideration for legal guardianship. That's very good. Everyone wants cultural exclusion. I've decided not to bow to them, to the people. Well, they'll, they'll have to sort... They can exclude themselves based on culture, I think. <clears throat> and we have another... Uh, from Kalat, we have a uh, an obligation expiring. Let's go ahead and absolve that. That improves relations further to friendly, which is very good. Now we'll continue doing what we're doing. So our construction queue is moving significantly faster now. We're building up a bunch of industry in Bosnia, and then we're going to go back to building up in, uh, infrastructure in the... Uh, in the power block, which we've been continuing to do, which is a very slow process because uh, railways take a long time to build. I should have a... There are a lot of things coming up in here. Wurdenberg sides with Switzerland. Wait a minute. Are the French and Prussians tangling over something? How am I not invited to this situation? I should have an interest in this area. Let's see. So this is France trying to ban slavery in Tidor and humiliate Prussia. <coughs> Prussia's trying to transfer Maguinda now and get regime change in Jambi. Well, I guess that just kind of is what it is. Now, what's this? This is... There's a communist revolt happening in Switzerland. Now, I don't think I can do anything about that. So unfortunately, I'm going to just kind of leave it. And we've got another gold rush event. Gold has been discovered in Ochotsk. People from all corners of the earth are converging there, confident that they will discover the next great load and become incredibly rich. Um, I'm not going to read this text again. I've read it like a dozen times. Mine. It's all mine. So what do we want to do next? We're developing a very healthy gold reserve, which I'm pleased about. I don't necessarily want to sacrifice that in a war. And anyway, I've got a lot of infamy. 
Maybe I'll reduce the autonomy of one of my subjects. Maybe Shanxi. Once their liberty desire is low enough, that is. Their liberty desire is going down pretty fast now, which is very good. Uh, and we're in adoption for legal guardianship. Uh, Kalat wants a diplomatic mission. I accept. Korea is also going down in liberty desire, which I'm very pleased about. Japanese Shogunate is wary. Let's go ahead and improve relations with them by just a bit. I could fund lobbies. Oh my goodness, that would be significantly expensive. Well, I guess they're a big country. Can I see their lobbies anywhere? They do have an anti-Russian league, and there are a lot of people part of it. That's very funny. What if I invested in you? They're supporting Korean independence. A historical. They're still under isolationism, so I could... I could forcibly open their market, I suppose. And then we could be trading partners, and that would be nice. And then maybe I could bring them into the uh, into the power block, which would be nice. Hmm. Yeah, things are really popping off in Western Europe right now. But I don't need to concern myself with that. We're getting really great luck on legal guardianship, which I don't know how to feel about. I hope it doesn't mean bad. Yep, there it goes. So I hope that doesn't mean terrible luck later. Which it might, but it is what it is. Um, let's go ahead. And now that Bosnia-Herzegovina is its own country... Oh my goodness, so many things are expensive there. Uh, let's go ahead and import... Have I finished? No, I'm still... We're still working on those motor industries. Gosh, I can import a lot of things. I can import paper, hardwood, clothes, and grain. Or export. Export, rather. Clothes. Paper. Hardwood. And grain. And luxuries. I can export luxuries to them. You know what? Go back to overview. And liquor. I can export liquor to them. Export a lot of liquor to Austria, frankly. Alright, so I think at this point... Because our trade routes are growing, it would be beneficial to increase in bureaucracy. I didn't realize I'd completely eaten through my excess of bureaucracy. So that's maybe something I should work on. Um, investment pool is still growing at an alarming rate. I might actually just go ahead and build up another round of construction industries because I feel like that might be the way to go here. Because I've got so much that I need to build right now. <sighs> decisions, decisions. I can invest in Austria, right? I think I can. I've been, More and more I've been thinking about actually the possibility of getting Austria into the power block. Our leverage is low, but it's not that low. Like, and having another uh, a major in the power block would be really, really useful. What can I sell in their market? Oh my gosh. Fertilizer, clothes, and motor industries, and paper and grain. Oh my goodness. Wild. Do they have any fertilizer plants? I 
got quite a lot of population available for, for labor in. This is wild. Uh, where have they got a lot of arable land? I know I've got a huge construction queue that I've got just sort of sitting there not you know that I'm that I'm that I'm not working on as fast as I could be but having Austria in the power block seems really really tempting to me actually oh. and we'll go ahead and knock out everything we're currently working on and then we'll put the stuff in Afghanistan after is that unfair? Probably. But it is what it is. It's what I've chosen to do right now. And hopefully, maybe this will give us a little bit more leverage over Austria, and maybe we can bring them over to the fraction. I would get 6.4 million more loyalists if I went with cultural exclusion. But I'm trying not to reform the country. We're doing we're doing this this reformant run. Are we not rivals of Scandinavia? We should be rivals of Scandinavia. There we go. Get us a little bit of extra infamy decay. Now, what's our leverage over Bosnia and Herzegovina look like now that we've built a bunch of things there? It's still low, but it's going to be very large. And it's going up very fast. I think it was 144 last week, so... Or negative 144. So it's going up very fast. Oil. The discovery of oil in Saratov is causing people to flock to the state, hoping to find jobs in this booming industry. Gold? Silver? Diamonds? For what? Trinkets and finery for the gentry? Glamour to hide their time has passed? Listen, my friend, nostalgia may be gilded, but the future? The future runs on oil. Encourage this trend. Oil is the future. Um, and then let's go ahead and build up some more of those government admins. Let's see, Kharkiv is a little sh Oh no, that's infrastructure. I don't... Not there. I don't have any infrastructure there. No. Let's try that one again. Uh, where am I short? I'm short on governing cap in Tula. I'll get there. Yaroslav, I can use two more and that'll put me where I need to be. Um, two in Saratov. Four in Warsaw. Two in Kazan, four in Kuban, four in Uzbekia. I'm just trying to build up a little bit of a ca additional capacity with these. I'm actually really close to having my uh, taxation capacity issues fully sorted, which is really nice. Um, I think that's all I need for now. I don't want to go too hard with this because I'm going to uh, for sure outrun my infrastructure needs just sort of building up like this. Uh, once again, we'll throw... Actually, I'm going to throw the stuff in Afghanistan in first. Uh, then throw the stuff in Austria on top. And the rest of those in there. And so this will get working reasonably quickly on all the stuff that I've been working on, plus construction in uh, Austria, and that'll be nice. We have a diplomatic play going on in Acholi. Scandinavia is rivaling us back. All right, there we go. Just making sure the uh, the whole soundtrack thing is still going. Oil in Arabistan, very good. I suppose I could go after Bengal. Bully Bengal. 6.2 to conquer this tiny area of Bengal that they can't really defend adequately. Seems reasonable. Unless, of course, Punjab sides with them. Oh, okay, hold on. We're having a situation down here already. Uh, let's see. We have a proletarian revolt in Kalat. We have two regions. I don't think that's going to be that big of a deal. Let's go ahead and mobilize a couple of our smaller armies. 
to deal with that. And that should be plenty unless someone gets involved, in which case we'll have to fight someone who's involved. Anyway, that shouldn't be that much of a problem. Oil discovered in Xinjiang. Very good. I love oil. I love oil! Uh, Mecklenburg Strelitz. I, I don't want to invest in you, Mecklenburg Strelitz. Uh, you know, it would be pretty fun if I invested in countries in Germany. That would be fun. That would be entertaining. I would be delighted by that. But they would need to be coastal countries, because I don't have... I can't get through Prussia. Unless, of course, I take a Silesian corridor or something silly like that. Which, again, would be very funny. What's going on in Benin? Why are there so many... Oh, because... Because France is involved. Very good. And then we have Britain involved in a situation in Bundelkhand. And this... No one's bothering to get involved in Acholi, so we'll just go ahead and ignore that. I got our, we got our own problems. I got my own diplomatic play to deal with. Not a big one. Okay, Austria. Ba this, this back and forth business is not in anyone's interest here. You know, I guess I don't need to actively improve relations with Sind anymore. Since they're not my vassal anymore. Um, relations with Uyghurstan are good. Versions of Sichuan are good. They're in the market already. Let me just refresh my memory here, because I've got a lot of countries in China, a lot of China's warlord states in the power block. Okay, so the ones we're still trying to get in are Tibet, Hunan, Zhili, Anhui, and the Empire of China. So, uh, Empire of China is hostile. Let's improve relations. Zhili is in Japan's one. So if we if we did a transfer, okay, that's not gonna be within our capabilities right now immediately. Um, Hunan, we do have the ability to invest in. Have we built any buildings there? And then Anhui, uh, let's, let's request investment rights. They are adjacent to Shandong, so they will be able to be in the market. And then Hunan. Let's take a look in the States. Yes, we're hugely invested. Hold on. What's the, um... What's our leverage? Our leverage is terrible over here. Wait, hold on. Is it because these buildings are not profitable? Is that why? Curious. What about industrials? Yeah, these buildings are totally unprofitable, though. Huh. Not sure what to do about that. Hunan seems like it's having a real bad time. Alright, well, I won't worry about it, because I got stuff I need to do elsewhere. I can build an Anhui now. They've just got the one state. Let's build some extra paper mills. Cue in a few things. We can just put those at the end. I'm not really in a hurry with all this. Austria's improving relations. Wonderful. Nobody's getting involved in our diplomatic play. These other diplomatic plays are going nowhere fast. So I think it might just be a chill 1890s, friends. I think it might just be very, very chill. Countdown to war is kicked off. Just go ahead and neutral ourselves in these other plays. There's that war getting started. I have a war in the mud happening. The entrenched front. Heavy usage of trenches in the Kalati proletarian revolt by Dmitry Matveyev has turned the land into a blasted hellscape. The stalemate cannot last forever, but it's clear what the best way forward is. Have you ever been there in the trenches? It's less lonely than you think. You have friends everywhere. The rats will be with you night and day, and even when your mates die, they'll stay right there with you, just down below in the mud. Must entrench further. He gets trench rat. 
uh, Zone Rouge for terrible debuffs and 10% devastation. Or we can't let our defenses stagnate. 6k progress on defense and depth. I'm going with that second one. One general not having trench is not that big of a deal, but 6k progress on an important technology going forward is really, really good. Let's take a look at our leverage over Bosnia Herzegovina. And there's the rotary valve engine, which we've been not having forever. Alright, Bosnia Herzegovina is still going up in leverage and significantly. Minus zero, very good. There's that finished. Plus six now, wonderful. Alright, and Austria is improving relations. Leverage in Austria is also continuing to go up. Which is nice. Again, I would love to have Austria in my block. I wonder if it would be possible for us to subjugate them. I don't think it would be, because they are a... They are a major power. Like, I think I could subjugate the Ottoman Empire, because they're only a regional power at this point. I kind of I keep slicing off bits. And the gold fields in the North Foxes are depleted. I'm going to say we can't just let them leave. And shocking no one... I'm going to... Where's the North Caucasus? Here we are. Uh, shocking no one, I'm going to build up gold mines there. Why am I always building gold mines? Because I love gold! I like money, okay? It's nice. I like it. Everyone likes money, but I like money the most. So now we're at half of our gold reserve, and yeah, I'm thinking it's time to start building up uh, a larger construction sector, because clearly we can afford it. Um, I got 10 million in the investment pool since I went to interventionism. So let's go ahead and increase this. Let's see. Tombov, we can afford another six levels in. Uh, Ryazan, we'll do four. Kursk, four. Uh, Chernihiv, four. Uh, Kiev, eight levels. That's 26. I've gone a little bit overboard, so we'll go a little bit farther overboard. Why not? Treat ourselves. Treat ourselves. Tver can use some levels. Novgorod and Peskov. That'll be nice. So we'll throw those in at the top of the uh, construction. Queue once again. They're going to kind of be completed in an arbitrary order, but that's all right. That's going to eat into our uh, our overage, but it'll uh, it'll very much be useful to us. And I think we might, at this point, go to a strategy of only building when we have something we want to build and letting the private investment queue sort out everything else, because the private investment pool has just barrels full of cash in it. Um, and now that we're not on... Uh, now that we're not on traditionalism anymore, our, we can get our economy really growing fast. Our economy took a sharp hit. Hey, there's modern sewerage. Wonderful. That should help with some of our infrastructure issues at least a little bit. I don't know what this number is all about. All right. I can decrease the autonomy of a bunch of different countries. Maybe I should work on that. Can I decrease the autonomy of Shanxi? I can. And we've got another oil rush. This one in Tobolsk encourages the trend oil is the future. Hold on. Korea is kind of the big prize, right? Yeah. Korea is the one that I really want to get down in autonomy because that'll give us a sweet, sweet shot in the arm uh, tribute-wise. So I want to keep working on that. Let me see. Peasant Revolt and Indoor being uh, suppressed by British power. That's, that's fine. You keep doing what you're doing, Britain. I'll come for you yet. We've been doing a lot of economic development this episode, but it's it's really necessary, because I am chock full of places I need to develop, and I just don't have the time. And anyway, we've had a lot of infamy, so it's nice to get our infamy decaying. Oyo sides with Dahomey. Nice. Sides with Bremen. 
Dahomey offers to become our protector. Okay. Dahomey, where are you? Let's start with that. You are on the coast. Against the Dahomey present rule. You know what? Sure. I can spare a fourth core to deal with your issue. Here we go. Assuming nobody gets involved again. Probably should have sent a more coastal army to deal with that, but it'll be fine. You got plenty of time to get there. All right, and there's our construction queue increase. Let me see if I've completely wrecked our iron supply. I have. Lovely. Well, the private construction cube will just have to deal with that because I have to keep building gold mines and industry in Austria. I just have to get Austria into the power block. At minus 34, it's getting better. <laughs> Truthfully, I think this is going to be just an enormous investment of resources, but uh, they seem very pleased for us to be friends, and I just I would love for them to be friends with us. You know I'm a sucker for protectorates. I just love to have a protectorate somewhere else other than in my in my main zone. So you know, that's kind of that's kind of where we're at. I've completely e eaten into my uh, my overage here, but again, the investment pool is still increasing in size. And truthfully, I think in Victoria Three, the play is kind of oh, what is this? Tommy is requesting them to permit them control of their own market. No. You will be in my market, Dahomey. You are my protectorate, and you will be in my market. Please tell me you have one, parentheses, one port. <laughs> it's going to be 40 weeks. All right, well, well, we'll get involved in that. We'll deal with that. We're almost there. Well, in Primoria. Very nice. You just need to hold out another, like, two days until my army gets to the front. Another week until my army gets to the front. And that'll be fine. On. Hey, there we go. Beautiful. Alright, so with this war kicking off, uh, that is actually going to be the end of the episode. I've had fun. I hope you all have had fun as well, and I will see you on the other side.